Hey you guys, it's your boy Odin from Hostop Promo. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily export data from MySQL into a CSV file. This is very easy to do. So let me go ahead and show you the table I'm going to be working with today. It is a subscribers table. It has a bunch of test data with names, emails, IP addresses. Like I said, this is all test data, so don't bother emailing these people. We have 100 rows right here. We want to get this into a CSV on our computer. So in order to do that, we're going to run this command, which I will leave down below in the description. Let me go ahead and explain what it does. It says select star from subscribers. OK, the star is going to select all the data in the subscribers table. Of course, you can select sp specific columns or change this query right here uh, to the data you need to extract. OK, and then we're going to use this command into out file. And then inside these quote quotation markers, you have slash var slash live slash MySQL files and then slash and then the test name of your file. This is absolutely critical. You use this file path right here or it probably will not work. I will go ahead and show you that in a second. But you can see right here I'm in here. Uh, if I do LL, we have no files currently. OK. Um, but like I said, guys, this is where MySQL by default will work to export CSV files. If you try to export it somewhere else, it will not work on default. So it's critical you don't change this, okay? And then you type the fields terminated by, this basically makes the columns comma separated and closed by double quotation mark. So the quota double quotation mark is around the data lines terminated by and then this is a line break which basically tells the csv for every row of data make a new line okay now if we go ahead and run that command you can say query okay 100 rows affected if we come back here and view our files now we have a test.csv and if we go ahead and cat that you can see now our file is in csv format okay i will leave this command down below um, in the description, if you guys want to change where you output the files right here in the var live MySQL files, you first need to come here. OK, uh, I will also leave this command down below. This command basically tells you what directory you're allowed to put MySQL CSV files in. Um, actually, we need to run this in the command line. Boom. You can see right here. See, that's cur the current directory. But you can turn this off so you can do it anywhere. Um, it's called secure file priv and you can Google that. Uh, by, but by, by default, you can easily export files here. OK, if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and also make sure to check out my website host.promo if you want to find the best web hosting companies and promotions. Peace out and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day.